Alright Mustang Rebuilders, I started off the last video, you know, telling you about I had trouble with the power seat. This Mustang's a V6, the premium package. That means it's got a power driver's seat, okay? And it would go and it would come in and go at an angle real slow like it was binding. But it seemed like all the motor functions worked on the switch as far as you could hear the motors going and trying to move and stuff, go forward. And uh, we'll show you what I found out. And uh, let me turn the camera around. Pretty easy. Underneath was nasty. You know, I bought this Mustang to rebuild, so inside's real good, but you know, order to see people spill drinks and stuff. But you got four bolts to take out, right? The front ones are, I think, 13, the rears are, I think, 15 millimeters. And uh, the, on the power seats, you got two plugs on it. Very simple to unplug. Pull the seat out. But what I found was binding my seat, it probably caused the original problem, which was hard on the motors. A DC battery was sitting right there. Right, right, binding the tracks, looks like. Look, it's been there so long, it's got an indention in the carpet. Now, you couldn't see it when you looked underneath. All right, so let me show you one more quick thing that we're doing on the seat to fix it. Well, uh, these seat tracks, I'll get back with you. Okay, here we are. We're looking underneath the seat. Okay, here's our two connections right here, one there. And then you see this bolt hole, it goes into a, a little, I don't know what proper name would it be. The gear runs through it, the spiral, the long bolt runs through it, and it helps it. It's what moves the track up and down, okay? It's one on each side. I remove the bolt this side, I remove the bolt on this side. That allows you to run the track freely up and down. Now, I showed you before that there looked like a D cell battery in there holding it up. Not only was it that, but these tracks tend to collect grit and dirt and everything. This is a 2007 Mustang. So, you know, it's, it's got its ears on it already, you know. Anyway, long story short, what I did was I sprayed some brake cleaner. It's just the seat is sitting up and down this way. Sprayed some clean, brake cleaner down here through the track. Cleaned it out. Same thing on the other side. Then I used a little WD-40. Sprayed it out till it came out the bottom. Then... What I did was, uh, you had to use a hammer. These, these tracks were moving very kind of stiff. That's what was also giving me that, that oh, what, it was actually twisting. The seat motion was twisting going up and down. One side was moving a little freer than the other. So I took a hammer, tapped it down, tapped it up with the WD-40, got it to free up, okay? After I did that, I pulled them all the way down. I used a white lithium grease inside. I got it inside the track. I can move them now with one thumb, up and down, up and down. Same thing the other side, up and down, they're moving free again, okay? After years of sitting, these things will collect, you know, all kinds of crap comes underneath your seats, all right? And it's just the environment. Also, like light surface, light, light, light surface rust will get around things. Uh, this is a convertible, so that's, you know, maybe a hard top won't have as much. But this was a convertible which had a bad back window which got a lot of moisture in it from what i could tell and who knows how bad the, the back window was over time the seats were fine everything's fine but still the air condition the, the air in the car would collect moisture okay convertibles are kind of prone to that um no matter where you are we're in oklahoma it's it's not it's not a desert climate and it's not real wet it's an in-between okay so you still can get some rust pretty pretty much rust free cars from here um, so that's where we're at. Now I'm going to move the tracks back up, set my bolts back in and I'll place the seat back in. We'll try it, see how the seat moves and we'll go from there. Yep. Seat's back in. She moves. Goes up, goes down. The switch was fine. So if you find it where it moves a little bit up and down, but you're still not getting your tracks to go back and forth, pull the seat, clean the tracks, lubricate them. You should be fine. Now remember, this is an 07 car. The seats didn't move really smoothly like some of the real, like the newer cars. Okay, um, this car only had power seats 
on the driver's side. This was the premium package V6 Mustang. Okay? A lot of the V6 Mustangs, if they didn't have the premium package, they did not have a power seat. It was manual tracks up and down. If you have trouble and you want to get rid of the power, I guess you could always go to Salvage Yard and easily find a manual track one. But this is a pretty simple fix. Okay, this switch itself is like $140. But if you go on eBay and cross-reference that number, this same switch was used in a lot of different other Fords, and you can get it down to about 56 bucks just by doing a little cross-referencing. And um, if I have time, I'll put that in the description. So I'll put an eBay link. It's not mine, somebody else's, and that way you can see a cross-reference. All right, um, that's about it on the seat. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, you know, a lot of these cars, if you're one owner or had one owner, it's car sat in the same position all the time. So things get locked up when they sit in the same position. You know, it's just like you. If you sat down all the time, try to get up, you feel like it all, <laughs> you feel like you got rust in you too. Anyway, hopefully that helps somebody. And um, remember, if you're not learning something new every day, you must be dead or you're an asshole. Anyway, God bless you. Have a fantastic day.